sorry. Hello, happy Saturday. Even though Saturday is pretty much over. I have something on my lens. I did not bring my camera with me today. It was sitting right here. Failing. Look how jank my nails are. I'm gonna try to do my nails later because they're jank. What happened today? Well, you know me and Brandisha. We are on the journey to find our perfect setups so we can continue on our non-cigarette journey through life. We went to Vaporous in, uh, where is it? Atlanta? Oh, Marietta. Love it. It was highly recommended by Abby Vapes on YouTube. I asked her on Twitter what was her favorite favorite. What was her favorite vape shop in Atlanta? And she highly recommended Vaporous. So glad we went. The owner is awesome. And the guy that works there also awesome. Everyone hanging out there was awesome. They didn't judge us because we were newbies. It wasn't so hipsterish that we felt like we didn't fit in. It was a cool place. I would definitely go back. It's just a little far, but not it's not like out of the question far. It's just like not like two miles away, like um vapor lounge. I bought something I've been wanting to get for a couple weeks. I've been doing some research and I got the Aspire Nautilus mini tank. I love it so far. It's highly recommended and I didn't want to buy it off of eBay since I already messed up buying stuff on eBay. I told y'all what I bought on eBay. This fake-ish right here. Was this the fake one? Yes, this fake one. That, ugh, it's like unusable, it's so fake. So this is my Aspire Nautilus Mini. I love it. I like, I should probably like do a legit vlog about this. I like the construction of it. It has adjustable focus. It has adjustable air holes so you can customize it to what you want. It feels good in the hand. It doesn't make this much heavier. It has a perfect amount of draw for me and I have it on, I think like the second biggest hole. I kind of like more of an airy drawer. Drawer, drawer. And I got three e-liquids to add to my collection that is going to last me for the rest of my life. I'm still searching for, oh, and I got a cool little um, coil smith thing. Even though I'm not a coil smith and I don't know how to build coils or mods or anything like that, I'm sure I will learn. I got three e-liquids. This brand is called Evo and it is called Apple Palm Smoothie. It is so good. 18 milligrams of nicotine. I'm still on 18. I have no plans to drop my nicotine level down until I am completely a thousand percent sure I have no desire to smoke an analog cigarette. It's only been about a week for me and I don't I feel like I need some lip gloss. I've only been not smoking 100% for about a week. I think Monday. I'm going to say Monday. I know it wasn't Tuesday, but maybe it was Monday morning was my last analog cigarette so I don't plan on changing my nicotine level down to the next level for a while I don't have a set date when I feel like it's right I'll try so I'm not really worried about it now for now my main focus is not to be a smoker vaping is fine for me oh apple palm smoothie by Eva it is so good it is so good that I think Brandy got one too and we made a pact that we will not buy doubles since we each have our own stuff but I mean it's like the same we're going to share so like if she has a flavor I want I can go load up a tank of hers and she can have any of mine. Bentley! <laughs> He's trying to edit my vlog. <laughs> Stop it. My house is so messy right now I'm actually going to clean my whole house at 
11 o'clock at night because that's the great time to clean your house. Oh, I want to vacuum. Is it too late to vacuum? Well, it's Saturday night. People with lives are out, so people downstairs. Hopefully, she's not home. I got... This is called Ultraviolet. I think... Oh, it's by Pink Spot Vapors, which is out in Vegas. And I think it has Vaporous's logo on it, so I don't know. It is really good. It is a blueberry. Yeah, it's kind of blueberry. -y. Love it. That's actually what I filled this tank with. And the third one that I got is also by Pink Spot. It is a cherry limeade, and it is perfect. And I'm actually going to need a bigger box, which is so sad. And that's all I got today, and that's all I plan to get. I'm going to take a break from buying stuff for a while. That's what I'm saying now. But I had a couple of people that they don't like me talking about vaping on my vlog, and I'm sorry, but it's what I'm doing to quit smoking. There are a million, well probably not a million, but there are a ton of different smoking cessation methods out there. Cold turkey did not work for me. I didn't really stick to it, but I tried and it didn't work for me. I'm not, and I tried gum, pack, not worked for me. I, this is working for me and I'm gonna stick to it. And I feel like one reason why I'm talking about it is because it's what I'm interested in right now. And I didn't know it was an option. Like when people say vapor, I thought it had to do with like, you know, like weed. Like I had no idea that there was this whole e-cigarette movement and that there's ways to stop smoking and feel like you're still smoking. Because I think in addition to having like a physical addiction to nicotine and everything that's in cigarettes, I also have a psychological addiction so chewing gum wearing patches it doesn't take away that edge I have where I have to like fire something up and blow something out of my mouth it and that's what e-cigarettes do for me I just feel like I'm move, not moving too fast but I just have so much stuff but a reason why I feel like I have to have so much stuff is for one I'm a hoarder I'm not a hoarder but you know I like stuff two I need backup of a backup of a backup. And I feel like the setup I have now gives me that level of comfort and security. All this right here is just me. I don't know what I like and it's a shot in the dark and sometimes I like it at the store and then I get it home and I'm like, uh, it's not that good. And some of them just need to sit and mix well, mix together if you just leave them alone and revisit them. What is he doing? Okay. If you just leave them alone and revisit them, sometimes like a week, two weeks later, they taste a thousand times better. Also, cause I am a, I don't, can I say I'm an ex-smoker? A new ex-smoker, my taste buds are all messed up. I can't, you don't know it when you're smoking, but your, your taste buds are all jacked up. So that's why I'm keeping all that stuff because as my taste, sense of taste comes back and gets better, I might like some of it. So this is my setup right now my daily thing i have a little holder this came with my first kit but i don't know it's not really big enough for me it's good for when i want to use my small purse but for right now i love this do you like the garbage bag i got this on ebay it's just an ego case it's purple it's showing kind of blue right now and i keep a wall charger and I'm just this is just an old HTC charger that I don't really use in the house a spare charger that I actually need to take back because it does not work it doesn't thread beauty rings and all a beauty ring is it just helps your tank look flush on your device I'll show you the difference like right now I have a beauty ring on this I'll take it off I'll show you so, do, 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 do. so take the beauty ring off and it just looks like that. That just looks awkward and stupid. It looks like something's missing. So that's what the beauty ring does. And this is the beauty ring that came with my Tesla. It's just a round one, but it just makes it look like the tank sit, sits properly on the device. It's purely aesthetic. You do have to be careful when I use my Kanger mini tanks. There are air holes on the tank. 
Excuse me, I'm talking. See, air hole. It's like reflecting because it air hole. Like if I use the beauty ring, it will cover the air holes. So yeah, my air holes are covered and I don't like that. But the mini tanks, they don't look that bad sitting on the device. It kind of looks like it works. They fit perfectly on the smaller ones on the Evo batteries. And my sidewinder. Oh, what was I talking about? See, I'm all over the place. That's why I don't really do formal videos because I am just, what is he doing? Oh, he's playing. Oh, wait, let's spy on him. What are you doing, boobies? You playing? Okay, keep playing. You good. He's so cute. Oh, so what I carry around for every day, I don't carry all this stuff. Cotton candy. For me to feel comfortable, I have to leave. Itch on my face. For me to feel comfortable, I have to leave my house with, usually I call this a big tank, a big tank filled pretty much all the way with something, or at least half full, and maybe one mini tank, because I like to change flavors throughout the day. Sometimes I'll take too many tanks, it doesn't matter. I just had an empty one with me in case I wanted to buy fill it up with whatever I bought today because I knew I was going to get something. I just didn't know what. I hate these. We talked about these. These plastic tanks. They're crap. Well, at least crap for me because I really can't taste things out of plastic. I can only put really strong flavors in plastic. Like the coffee one can go in plastic. This is actually a tank full of brandy's cinna something. Cinnabon? Cinnamint? Cinnamon. So I keep a big tank, a little tank, and my Sidewinder. And then I just have these two backups, which I leave at home. Somebody has already asked for them. I am not going to give them away on my vlog because I want them. Sorry. And honestly, they're so cheap. These little like starter ego batteries. I mean, they're like 20 bucks. They're not even 20 bucks. You can find them online. Just find like a legit store and I mean, it's, maybe I'll do one, I don't know. I feel like I want to save it for, I have other friends that smoke and they're kind of interested and I would set them up with like a little starter kit and like kind of pay it forward. So that's what I'm saving these for. And they're just gonna live in here for now because I charged both of them so they should be fully charged. And this lasts, someone asked me how long this lasts. This lasts an entire two days. I do charge it almost every night because I found it dies like at the end of the second day. This will last, the vision spinner will last a full day. These were barely lasting me through a day. So that's why I decided to move to something bigger because I don't want to be bothered with having to change batteries and making sure my battery's charged and all that. I just want to load it up and go. And I'm finding a lot of this is trial and error which is so annoying because there's no trial and error in a cigarette. You have a cigarette, you like it, you light it, you smoke it, you move on. And I think I'm gonna load up. I wanna put some of my flavors. I didn't really feel that much in here because this is just amazing flavor. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Okay, I'm gonna go clean my house because it is so dirty that I feel like I can't even have a conversation. And I put baking soda all over the carpet, so I need to vacuum that up so my dog doesn't eat it and die. Even though I don't think he would eat it and die, but I don't, you know, want to risk it. What are you doing, Bulbies? Are you sleepy bears? Me and Bentley decided that we're gonna go to bed now because it's really late. I wanted to clean my whole house from top to bottom and I did not do that. I vacuumed, extra good. I put the stuff down, baking soda on the carpet, and then the Febreze pet odor stuff. Even though he does not have an odor, I have a fear that my house will smell like pet land. So I overcleaned. I've overcleaned since I got him because I don't want my house smelling like a damn puppy mill. But we're gonna go to sleep. You wanna say goodnight to all of your fans, boys? Bye guys, I'm laying on the floor, I'm watching this show about these guys on TV and they're in jail. You see them? It's called like Lock Up. It's really good. I just been laying here and watching it. Yeah, so um, bye guys. Oh, Buzz, you want to give him the cool sis? <gasps> give him the cool sis. Oh, he's such a sweet baby. Can you give them one more cool sis? One more cool sis? <gasps> he's such a sweet baby. You want to give them a handshake? Shake? No? You want to roll? 
roll. All the way. All the way. <gasps> Good boy. Can you roll this way? Roll? <gasps> no. Bam, you're dead. <laughs> Only roll to the left. It's so weird. I, that's probably how I taught him too. But he's tired, so we're going to go to bed. But look at some cute, sleepy puppy porn. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you going to lick? What are you going to do now? We have to comb you out before we go to bed, silly bear. And brush your teeth. Yes, I brush his teeth every night because I'm not paying $500 for him to get a dental. We gonna nip that tartar in the bud. He had tartar, I told you guys so long ago. He had tartar on one of his, his two back molars. I'm like, what the frick? Like, you've had those teeth for like two months. And I feed him hard food, so I don't know. So I brush him. Bye!